I built the community by being a really family-friendly channel. I do mostly story-based content in Minecraft. Haley, now that we're married, we gotta get ourselves a house! This apartment's too small to raise a family! I like to consider myself like the soap operas of the Minecraft world, so these kids come to watch an in-depth story that has some drama, has some romance, and has like that tension that they deal with every single day at school or in their real life. And I think that's how I built like a tight-knit community that loves my scripting, loves my role plays, but then also loves me. So when I try to engage my audience, I use a lot of the YouTube tools, but I also use parts of my voice. Like I'll try to engage them for likes and comments, just to see where they're at in a certain series. Maybe they were like, what do you think is gonna happen next in the plot? And then that actually inspires me to write different things in the script. Like if a lot of people want this certain thing to happen, I might go back in and change the script and change up the episodes. So I think it's always smart to engage comments, especially when it's related to your content, because it allows you to tailor content your viewers actually wanna see. Whether it's submissions on social media or in the comment section, them letting me know like, hey, we really want you to play this game. Or hey, can you try out this game? It's coming out this day. Staying on top of the trends and hype trains in regards to new releases of games really helps a channel's growth as well. For us, it's, it's hard because our main body of the episodes are very heavily scripted, but we use the intro paragraphs, we use the end cards as times to actually communicate with the fans. You know, people had been asking for us to cover films and TV and anime for a really long time, and so Film Theory, the channel, made a lot of sense. Hey, it'd be cool to see you play more games or like see what you do in real life, and so the live stream happened. First off, the way they behave on camera will really dictate the way that their fans behave. Choosing what comments you respond to. You know, if you're responding to haters all the time, those are gonna tend to filter up in the comments, whereas if you're responding to that thoughtful comment, now all of a sudden it shows that, hey, you as a creator are someone who is active in your community, who is listening to what they're telling you and is excited to engage. MineCon 2013 was my first huge fan experience. Everyone just came up with fan art and wanted like hugs and selfies. And, and then I also met three fans that were 19 now, started watching me when they were 14. And they still watch to this day. And now they're trying to get into YouTube and they said I inspired them and that melted my heart. I was at New York City Comic Con and this little girl, she was dressed up as Superwoman and she came up to me and she was like almost started crying. It was the cutest thing in the world and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're my demo. When did this change? But I guess we try and create content that everyone can enjoy and we're, we're reaching people we didn't expect. <laughs>